Kodak Philippe watches are popular among collectors with their long history, strong market performance, and excellent technology. Watch lovers admire the exquisite craftsmanship of Kodak Philippe timepieces. Hence, the brand is well known for a reason. Speaking of its uniqueness, Kodak Philippe's unique design reflects the beauty of the watch. Each style and technique is carefully crafted with true art and excellent craftsmanship. It involves various craftsmanship such as inlaying, enamel painting, gem setting, and extremely delicate carving. Well, have you ever wondered how Kodak Philippe watches are made? Hey guys, welcome to another informative video from our channel, How's It Made? Before jumping to the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. History of Patek Philippe Watches Since its founding in 1839, Patek Philippe has spun 178 in Geneva. It's the oldest of the few masons in the Swiss watch world that maintain complete independence. Throughout its long history, the company has pursued innovation, beauty, and high quality to become the best watch in the world. Antoine Norbert de Patek was one who dreamed of and realized the best watch in the world, was an exiled aristocrat from Poland, and had a high sense of beauty. Jean-Adrien Philippe was the man who was a spoon to Antoine's soup. He was a French watchmaker. He brought many inventions such as crown winding and needle alignment mechanisms. In 1839, Antoine Norbert de Patek and Francois Chapek opened the watch studio in Patek's Chapek in Geneva. This is the beginning of the existing Patek Philippe. And in 1844, Patek saw a wonderful watch in an exposition in Paris. A pocket watch with a crown winding and hand alignment mechanism was produced by French watchmaker Jean-Adrien Philippe. The two, who have a desire to make the best watch in the world, kit it off. The following year, Philippe replaced Chapek as an engineer and officially joined the management in 1851, giving birth to the name Patek Philippe. In the same year, he won the gold medal at the London Expo. Since then, Patek Philippe has continued to innovate to become the best watch in the world without interruption. At the same time, it inherits the tradition of Geneva that emphasizes beauty and is praised as the best in the world for its exterior with the finest hand finishing and craftsmanship. In 1932, the founder's family transferred ownership of the Mason to the Stern family. The new owners have also inherited the wishes of the founder and have pursued innovation and artistry to this day. It was possible because it remained an independent Mason, free creation that's not bothered by the voices of outfielders such as investors and parent companies gives Patek Philippe watches unique value. As much as he's free, he also regulates himself with unparalleled strict quality standards. Manufacturing of Patek Philippe watches Patek Philippe is an independent manufacturer that vertically integrates production. It has its R&D department and creates and designs all movements and external components in its studio. Hence, it's all a manual finishing process. What is manual finishing? A series of exquisite decorations and subtle improvements have enriched the functionality and beauty of the company's work and ensure the beauty and precision of Patek Philippe watches in the coming years. Patek Philippe Seal This is the standard of excellence embodied by the Patek Philippe Seal, which is the benchmark applicable to all mechanical watches, ensuring that the company's quality standards, the most stringent standards in the Swiss watch industry, are met. Every detail is taken into consideration to achieve the best results. All elements of the timepiece have been perfectly processed. Case and Bracelet Making the body of the watch and making the bracelet that holds it in place at Patek Philippe is as important as the movement itself. Making a case is an extremely complex task, requiring about 20 experts to perform about 50 operations. Making metal bracelets also requires a lot of complicated processes. Fine working Firstly, use the printing press to create the form of the case. The rough shape of the part is cut from a metal strip, and then a metal punch is used to push the part into an anvil-shaped die, where it's forged to subtly improve its size. At the same time, its series number is engraved on the back of the case. Then it's finished by hand. This process is called fine processing. Gilosh Gilosh, also known as engine rotation, is a technique used to create the gloss of a tiny geometric pattern of cross lines, usually made on the dust cover of a pocket watch. By turning the two cranks, the operator guides the cutting tool to carve delicate grooves on the metal surface. Decorative gilosh craftsmanship is more commonly used for gorgeous bottom covers and rare handicraft models. Gem Setting Any gemstone chosen for a Patek Philippe case or bracelet diamonds, rubies, sapphires, emeralds will be the best of its kind and meet the strict standards of the Patek Philippe seal. The accuracy of the cutting is also crucial to ensure a regular and uniform setting. 
The task of the gem setter is to place it perfectly so that it can show its exquisite advantages, and of course it's safe. The setter places each gem on its pedestal, either by encapsulation, by carefully folding the metal ring around it to set the gem, or by invisible setting, with grooves in the gem suitable for hiding the bottom surface of the rail grid. Engraving Engravings can be engraved on multiple surfaces of the watch, from the dial to the moving parts. Custom engravings most often appear on the case. Before starting any sculpting, the artist uses a pencil to outline all the intricate patterns in the subject and its patterns. When satisfied with the design, the artist will pick up a carving knife or white furrows. It penetrates the material, drawing a line or curve with grooves of different depths. Therefore, the sculptor transferred his detailed guidance line to the waiting surface. Polishing The simple art of polishing is one of the most important finishing techniques. Patek Philippe's polishing is done by hand as always. Polishing is a meticulous and time-consuming task to be precise. After polishing, touching the watch with bare hands, no matter how clean it is, will damage the work of the polisher and cause tiny abrasions that are invisible to anyone except the expert who uses a magnifying glass. For this reason, wear cotton gloves or a protective rubber thimble in the manufacturing workshop. Perfect Bracelet through many types of bracelets, chain bracelets, and mechanical bracelets. For traditional chain bracelets, each link used to be individually handmade, positioned, aligned, assembled, and welded, which means that completing the bracelet is a complicated process. The making of a dial. Making a dial is less a branch of watchmaking, more a dedicated craft in itself. Dial makers and finishers use age-old hand craftsmanship skills alongside trade secrets passed down through generations. A dial for Patek Philippe takes four to six months of production process work, and from 50 to 200 operations, including decorative techniques. Decalque or transfer printing. During this process, any printing that appears in the dial is transferred from the ink on the engraving plate using a silicone pad. All dial inscriptions such as numbers, chapter rings, counters, and any markings have been removed. This work may need to be repeated multiple times using different plates and mats to transfer all the inscriptions and colors of a particular dial. Between each layer, the dial is set to dry in an incubator. Number of indexes All Patek Philippe hour markers, regardless of the base material of the dial, whether it's index sticks, Roman numerals, or Arabic numerals, are 18K gold. There are more than 100 different steps in making hour markers, but the first stage, like the dial, will always include swagging or blanking. Faceting you see a machine equipped with sharp diamond tools, the hour markers are either faceted, flat diamond polished, or chamfered to make them more readable. Then all marks are individually final polished. The last operation on the dial is to set the hour mark decals. This is done entirely by hand, and it requires considerable dexterity and absolute concentration to protect a watch face that has become the subject of dozens of extremely complex programs. Using tweezers, the operator positions the marked feet one by one at the designated positions through tiny guide holes, tiny perforations, slotted feet are very small, and it's easier to feel with fingers instead of seeing with eyes. After everything is installed, the expert carefully flips the dial and starts riveting, using a handheld high-speed diamond grinding wheel or a pointed tip to place the fleet flat on the dial base to finally fix the mark. Movement Components The meticulous manual work on the internal components of the watch is the place where manual modifications reaches a rare peak. From super complex functions to classic movements, all our movements use the same craftsmanship. Craftsmen used binocular microscopes to work. This meticulous fine-tuning is done by skilled craftsmen. Chamfer or bevel Here, the sharp edges between the surface and the sides are cut into a smooth, 45-degree curve and then polished to shimmer. Chamfering is one of the most complicated finishing methods, which is time-consuming and requires exquisite craftsmanship. The corner surface must be regular and smooth, with parallel edges and constant width. The chamfer accentuates the shape of the part, just like the silver lining of a cloud. This process will also remove any remaining burrs. Prune Use a magnifying glass and a scraper with a slender spear-shaped head to remove any tiny burrs or remaining material fragments left by machining on the mainboard and splint of the movement. Sinking wheels The different wheels have a polished sink. This is a concave chamfer or a slightly hollow groove. It's done on a mechanical lath using a diamond cutting tool, which is lowered onto a carefully placed workpiece, where it cuts a circle like Bull's Eye or a Spitfire logo. The sink, shiny, perfect circle is made one after another. Polished Ends Polishing is done with a leather grinding wheel until the operator checks through a magnifying glass and believes that the end is smooth and protruding. Polishing Teeth First, the operator installs the pinion on the bracket, coats it with a thin layer of blue abrasive paste, and then checks whether it can rotate freely. Next, the expert applies another kind of abrasive paste to the wooden grinding wheel. 
and finally lowers the wooden disc into the gear teeth, which drives the pinion like the inside of a watch while providing the teeth with a beautiful and smooth silver finish. Polish of the surface of the leaf. This operation uses a hard metal grinding wheel coated with abrasive paste. The steel surface to be polished is very compact, and the pinion needs to be driven into a temporary wheel top to support. Geneva Stripes At Patek Philippe, this process is very personal for the craftsmen who start by cutting their wooden tools. The tool is attached to the grinding wheel coated with abrasive and repeatedly pressed on the component, barely touching it, removing a small amount of material and producing a calm wave pattern. Mirror Reflection Also known as Black Polish or Poly Noir, its name comes from the black or gray luster depending on the viewing angle of the finished component. This is an amazing finish, often found on wing-shaped turbulent bridges or repeater hammers in hot porology. To obtain the luminous luster that can only be achieved on steel, the parts are gently rubbed in a circular motion on a zinc plate coated with diamond paste, starting with a coarser particle paste and then gradually transitioning to fine particles. Rule: The craftsman uses a tool such as sharpening pencil to rub parallel strokes along the square sides of the part. The metal leaves dense, velvety matte particles. This is a simple aesthetic detail that makes the inside of the watch more eye-catching. Round Pattern this work is done using a circular abrasive polisher installed in a rotating head. For this, the expert presses with bare hands to create a pattern that must be perfectly linear in each line. Experts need steady hands, rhythm, and well-trained eyes. Everyone has their style. It will never be the same. These decorations can have hundreds of gradual pearls, making the part unique. Through the sapphire crystal back cover can see part of the circular grain pattern. That's it, guys. Let us know if you found this video informative in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video.